Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back or if you're new, I'm Juby and welcome to my channel. Today I'm excited to be going through part two of the November haul with you. And if you haven't already seen part one, definitely go check that out. I'll link it in the cards above, but I'll also put a link to the video in the description box below. And just like part one, we have a lot of puzzles here to go through. There's lots of different brands, including quite a few Australian brands. We've got lots of uh, arty, fun, bold, bright, colorful ones, of course. Uh, even a few cute cat ones for good measure. And I think there's even some plastic ones. So that sounds pretty interesting. And if there's any puzzles here that you're curious about, I'll be putting the full list of puzzles featured in this video, either in the uh, description box below or in a pinned comment below. Uh, so I think this could take quite a bit of time to get through. So get a tasty snack, grab a drink, get super comfy and let's go through them all. So just like last time, I've grouped puzzles based on their brand and we do have a few stacks to go through. So let's go through this first one. So you might notice I've got quite a few puzzles here from the same brand and these are all from Magnolia. Um, so Magnolia put out a very vast new collection sort of towards the end of last year or middle to end of last year and they have a lot of beautiful designs in that collection so of course I decided to grab um, a few or a lot. So this first one is uh, 1023 pieces. Um, it is a square shape and it's called Mandala of Life and it's by the artist David Matteau and probably no guesses why I picked this one just a gorgeous symmetrical rainbow world well, mandala. Um, yeah, it kind of really resembles like a stained glass window or something like that. It's really gorgeous. I'm not quite sure how the artist has created it. it almost looks a little bit like uh, it could be a painted or colored pencils or something. And at first I just thought of, sort of thought it was like an abstract design, but upon closer inspection, it does maybe seem like all these sort of uh, thick or bold lines are actually tree trunks. So it's like trees with the tops going towards the center. So that's kind of cool. And I can see little branches and there's all these little colored dots and I think they're sort of like the leaves of the trees. And it would kind of make sense because um, he's got a few uh, puzzles out in the new Magnolia collection and a lot of them feature like sort of like rainbow elements like crystals and things like that out in like a forest or amongst trees and leaves and nature and that sort of thing. So that kind of would like make sense that they're all these trees coming together to form this like center of the mandala there's all these little stars and yeah it's really beautiful um so yeah i think this one will be good fun to put together i don't think it'll be too difficult could be wrong could yeah might uh eat my words later i am tempted to make a video on it let me know what you think um but yeah i just think it's gorgeous and then next we have another very colorful one this one's 1000 pieces and it's called Okay, I'm gonna probably mispronounce this Park Guel. Guel, I'm not too sure. G U with the little like umlauts, E L L. And it's by the artist Nolan Dennis. And it's just really colorful and very, really, like really pretty and idyllic. It's this beautiful sort of, like I'm not sure where this place is, the, like the name of the, like the name of this image is like a place or the place that's in the image presumably, but I'm not sure where in the world that is but it looks gorgeous. It's sort of got all these like mosaic tiled like walls and buildings and like little stonework or brick and palm trees and a beautiful like view of the ocean over all these like little houses and buildings and get your birds and I guess the sun setting, rising. Um, yeah, and there's like little people and see the road and a gorgeous little bird here. So yeah, it's really pretty and it looks like it might be could be acrylic paint or watercolor, but it's definitely sort of got a painted look. But yeah, really pretty. Um, there's a couple others, I think, by this artist as well that I've been eyeing off. Um, but yeah, this one I think was my favorite of, of theirs. But yeah, just, I love the sort of, especially like the gradient up here, the purpley, pinky, yellow, like sunset, I guess. And just all the colors in the mosaic tiles. Yeah, really stunning. Again, I don't think it's too surprising why I got this one. But yeah, looking forward to this one. And then next is another 1000 piece one. This one is called Lady with Flowers and it's by Romy Lerdo. And I've actually done quite a few um, Magnolia puzzles from like their older collection by this artist. I should probably show it to you. Um, and I've even did like a, uh, I think like the Queen's Gambit done in her sort of iconic style. And you can watch that video up here. Um, but yeah, this one just is really 
yeah, simple and pretty. It's just, yeah, this woman, hold, you know, leaning on her elbows and just has all these beautiful flowers and butterflies in her hair. It's like kind of like simple shapes, but just bold and colorful, just really pretty. And like Romy Lerda does these, like all her sort of characters are, were usually female as far as I've seen. And they always have these big sort of like Japanese manga style eyes or cartoony eyes and little mouth and little nose. And yeah, but I really like this one. So colorful and pretty, a bit of a theme here, but no surprises with me, I guess. But yeah, just gorgeous. And I think it'll be a really lovely one to do. Um, maybe the background will be a little bit tough. I don't know, because there's a little bit of dark um, and maybe her like arms and that, but I mean, I guess even the flowers might be a bit tricky, but yeah, I, th I think it'll be well worth it. Well worth it getting tongue tied here because it's just, yeah, really, really gorgeous and stunning. And then next is one that's not quite as colorful, although the one after it certainly is, but it's very whimsical. So this is also like a square puzzle and it's the 1023 pieces. I'm like, wouldn't it make more sense to you 1024? I'm not a mathematician. I don't know, but I'm like, wouldn't it be even, I don't know. I'm going to stop guessing. But anyway, it's a square puzzle and it's called Wonderland and it's by Anne May. I hope I've said that right. And it's just really cute. So uh, the name Wonderland coming from like Alice in Wonderland. So it's got all these little like rectangle uh, like sections of the puzzle and each one's got like cute little characters and or it's actually got a lot of Alice but like Alice doing different things and then other characters from like Alice in Wonderland. Um, and it's got this cute little like diamond sort of, I guess Harlequin diamond kind of pattern in like every second uh, like rectangle. So we've got Alice up here with like playing cards and her, I guess, falling through time and her with some fish and her in a teacup with a giant cookie. Um, and we've got the queen of hearts and that caterpillar and the dodo bird and what else? The white rabbit and some clocks and like, I guess the looking glass. Um, and like the topiary and some other things. So yeah, very cute and whimsical. And um, in some ways, her, the little characters remind me a bit of Romy Lerda because they have like the big head, not so uh, kind of big eyes, but like a quirky kind of like cartoony style. But yeah, really interesting, very whimsical. But there's also a lot of really beautiful, fine, ornate, ornate details. Like the topiary has like all the texture in it and there's these gorgeous little roses and even the edge of the mirror is very pretty and the lace work on like some of the outfits and stuff. Yeah, so I think this will be a very pretty one. Definitely uh, perfect for anyone who really loves like Alice in Wonderland sort of themed things. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this one. And then next is we're back to colorful. <laughs> so this one's 1000 pieces and it's called Katryoshka. I guess like a take on Matryoshka, like those Russian dolls. Okay, and I am going to butcher this name. Uh, uh, Ercument Axoi? Okay, I've, I've completely butchered that. <laughs> I apologize. Um, but yeah, it's a really fun one. So it's like, again, kind of all these sections. And each one's just a colorful, different, like, Katryoshka doll. So a cat, sort of little wooden cat doll. Um, and each is like a different, painted in a different theme. And it's very, like, cartoony and like funny and cute, like, what have we got here? Um, well, we sort of have one that is like the Cheshire Cat actually from Alice in Wonderland. And it's got like little mushrooms and then it's got the kind of like Disney style pink and purple like stripes and the big green and then has little clocks all over it. And we've got one here that looks very like death. <laughs> it's got a rose, but it's all got like, a, it's got a skeleton and skull. Um, what else we got? Like a Batman kind of, oh, Catman maybe? Batman looking one. Um, we have like a Day of the Dead theme one, maybe a Joker, um, one that looks like a Buddhist monk perhaps, and a, one that looks like maybe a geisha or something like that. Yeah, they're all like very cute and quite quirky and weird, but very like, bold. I, I really like the art style, very colorful and bold and like graphic novel type cartoony cat dolls, I guess. But yeah, really cute. And there's actually a lot of detail in each one. And I guess each one tells a bit of a story about like the sort of character it's representing. Like, and there's like, this one has little fishies in it and then has little flowers and this one has a little bee. Yeah, there's so much detail on each one, but it still is very bold and eye-catching. 
Anyway, I think I've waffled on long enough about this one. I think it's really cute and would be a lot of fun to do. And then the last three from Magnolia here are all by the artist Laverin and I've become quite a fan of her work. So this one is 1000 pieces and it's called The Sun. And she does these beautiful sort of, I believe she does like uses watercolor and maybe some like pencil work, sort of hand draws them all. These beautiful, um, very like old school Japanese manga style, cartoon style, but yeah, it's very like, they're very ornate and very detailed. Um, this one's gorgeous. Like they always seem to feature a female character and it's always very sort of fantastical. Like they always seem to be fairies or angels or that sort of thing. And like even this character um, is sort of, she has wings on her head and she's sort of covered in roses and even has like, other wings and there's like lots of like yeah lots of sort of angel wings going on everywhere and then there's like this clock like a sort of roman numeral clock face behind her and all these i guess like sunbeams but they almost look like they're etched in metal or something so yeah it's really like there's so much intricate detail lots of little lace work and flowers um i have done one of these ones before and it was actually really tough to put together because like because of the sort of uh art style when you're looking at pieces up close they get a bit abstract and like a bit hard to tell where they go in the image um, but it was well worth it because it was just a stunning image when it was done so I think like this one and the other two are going to look gorgeous but yeah this one's really beautiful quite pastel-y bit of sort of goldy bronze color but yeah really beautiful so I think this will look really nice when it's done as well and then this one by the same artist is called Red Plum and it's a lot brighter and very beautiful. Um, yeah, it just features like another sort of character. This time she's got cat ears by the looks of it or some sort of animal ears. And she's wearing like kind of maybe like a kimono type outfit and has a sort of uh, one of those Asian style umbrellas, like a sort of maybe paper or fabric umbrella and just has all these beautiful flowers around her, like these red roses. And then what looks like maybe plum, pink and red plum blossoms. And yeah, really, I mean, I guess it is called red plum. So, but yeah, it's just really stunning, really bright and colorful, kind of quite a lot brighter than the previous one. Um, but yeah, very, very beautiful. And just so many details, like all the patterns on the kimono are just really, really detailed and intricate and even the flowers and the flowers in her hair and everything. Anyway, yeah, just gorgeous. And I'm excited for this one as well. And then the last one by this artist is also a really gorgeous one. Um, it's called The Moon, uh, also 1000 pieces. And yeah, just really beautiful as well. God, I can never get over how stunning these are. And it's like, and when you do with them, you discover more and more details. So again, lots of beautiful flowers. Does she have any like wings or ears? Um, I don't think she does. Uh, maybe, maybe she sort of has some abstract kind of lacy butterfly wings I'm not too sure but she's sort of wearing a, quite an interesting outfit like sort of it's quite colorful and it has like what looks like lots of filigree metal work or lace work in it and mixed with flowers and what else like little fun little designs and yeah I don't know but it's a gorgeous like the colors are gorgeous like I love the sort of bright orangey yellow moon background and the contrasting sort of teal and purples in here. Yeah, there's just so much detail. <laughs> so yeah, another beautiful puzzle. And then these next two are actually from a different brand. So these are from an Australian brand called Bespoke Letterpress who do like a lot of stationery stuff, but they also do some beautiful puzzle designs. So uh, this, these two I end up getting sort of for my Christmas collection, but I only sadly got to do one of them. But um, I am pleased with the one I did do because it's very beautiful. Um, I believe this one's called Christmas Ornaments. Annoyingly, these don't seem to have um, the name of it. Like even in the small print, it never seems to say what it's called. So I think it's called Christmas Ornaments. If that's wrong, I'll ho have like the correct name on the screen or in the description box below. Um, anyway, so what you see on the front is not the whole image, but they do always have the whole image on the back. So that's good at least. Um, but yeah, it's just all these like, it's so detailed. So it's all these lovely, I guess, Christmas sort of bauble ornaments, but they're all very floral. So each one has different types of flowers 
There's even ones that have like, um, where was it? Like hibiscus. So it feels a little bit tropical, which is fun for Christmas in Australia because we have Christmas during our summer. So that kind of made me think of Australia because it's a bit more sunny and tropical. But yeah, it's really very festive and like full of little details. So like even in the background, there's like all these little stars and like, I guess, little snowflakes, other little flowers. Um, what else? Flowers are sort of bursting like from the ornaments or behind the ornaments little ribbons yeah it's really pretty so i kind of like it because it's not like in your face christmasy but it's just very festive and beautiful anyway so yeah i think it's just a really lovely image um it was pretty tricky to put together because like just so many repeating kind of things like a lot of flowers look very similar and yeah just trying to figure out where everything goes but yeah definitely a gorgeous puzzle to put together together though <laughs> gosh i'm getting rather tongue-tied and then the last one from this stack is sadly what I didn't get to do. Um, this one I believe is called All Around the World. Again, if that's wrong, I'll put the proper name on the screen, but I think that's what it's called. And it's really cute and whimsical. Um, so again, yeah, it doesn't have the name of it. Oh no, it does. Okay. I haven't taken the label off. So Around the World. Okay. Oh, and I forgot to mention these are both 1000 pieces. Um, yeah, so this one features all these cute little houses and buildings, I guess mostly like places where people live. And at first I just, I didn't realize it was a Christmas puzzle because it's quite subtle, like it just looks like cute little buildings and houses. But then you realize a lot of them have little Christmas decorations on them, not all, but like there's a little camper van, it's got little uh, like Christmas wreath and like Christmas decorations across the top and fairy lights. And then someone's very like, a beachy looking house but again with Christmas wreaths on it and, and it looks like they've put little lights in the palm trees um, but then you have things that look like like a lovely villa somewhere but it doesn't look particularly Christmassy just covered in lovely plants and flowers and um, some other like you know uh, apartment block or old building in Paris but again not particularly Christmassy um, and then you have one that looks like a gingerbread house and another one that looks like a sort of German style traditional house and that looks very Christmassy as well. So there's quite a mix here, like all little houses and buildings from different parts of the world. But yeah, it's really whimsical and cute. It's just a really lovely like illustration style and uh, really detailed, like each little house has got so many little flowers and things going on. So I think this will be a very fun one to do. And because it's not super Christmassy, I'm kind of tempted to do it maybe as like Christmas in July or something like that because I don't know, it's not like overtly Christmas. So yeah, I think it's just gonna be a really lovely one to do. So that is everything from the first stack. So let's get onto the next stack. So let's go through this next pile. I've actually got, uh, I think all Australian ones on this stack. So yeah, let's have a look. So these first three are from the brand Reverie and they do a lot of very like fan fantasy themed and book related or novel related uh, puzzles. Um, and this first one is very, very cute. It's called Fluffy Friends Book Club and it's 1000 pieces and it's very me. <laughs> it's very pink and cute. Yeah, it's got this like bookshelf and um, there's all these beautiful, colorful little uh, books on each one. So yeah, really cute things. Um, some of them do have titles. And then there's cute little characters and like odds and ends on each shelf as well. Like we've got um, a cute little, I guess, cat that's seems to be wearing glasses sitting with an open book and a little love heart and then we've got fun little rainbow things and mountains and clouds with happy little faces it's very this is very kawaii and very cute uh, we have what are you like a little mouse or something um maybe a hedgehog a goose or a duck another cat sort of jumping from the bookcase and then i guess a raccoon there with a, a, hugging a book so i guess they're they're all into books and a lot of them are wearing glasses, not all. And then there's, yeah, some cute plants and stuff, but it's very sweet, very cutesy, very, uh, it's just a really fun one. So of course I had to grab it. I think it's gonna be very, yeah, really cute once it's done. And then the next one from them is called Portals Through the Pages, also 1000 pieces. And yeah, I just thought this was a really nice one and very whimsical as well. It's got this girl here standing in a pretty dress and has like nice hair with flowers. And then I guess like 
it's got all these books and each one's sort of opening up and is like a portal to another world so we've got like sunflowers coming out of this one and we've got sort of a pegasus unicorn out of this one and flowers in this one a whale coming out of this one um, or a couple of whales and we've got like rabbits uh, jumping and butterflies and fish yeah, there's all sorts of like fun things like jumping out of the books and like all swirling around her so yeah it's really like there's a lot going on it's really beautifully illustrated um, and just yeah it looks really really fun and whimsical and just very pretty so I think this will be an enjoyable one as well and then the next one I mean they're all sort of a bit whimsical which I quite like uh, this one's called Sunset Sonnets and it's very beautiful uh, it's this woman who's sort of in this very like luxurious looking room looks like a sort of mansion or a palace or something maybe she's a princess I don't know with a chandelier and these like ornate ceiling and big curtains and everything and she's got this beautiful dress on that's made of pages from books and I guess she's sort of writing maybe like it is called sunset sonnet so i'm guessing she's writing some poetry and yeah she's just surrounded by all these like stacks of colorful books and yeah and some flowers and stuff but yeah it's just really pretty and yeah just i don't know really gorgeous and i like that these are sort of fantasy but um not like fairy tales or dragons or things like that like well maybe some of them are but i kind of like these ones that are a bit more left to your imagination and a bit more kind of whimsical and a little bit quirky and yeah I like them so quite interesting um, but yeah I think this is a really beautiful image as well and then we've got a bunch here from Tanya Wick's photography um, so I actually did a video on these recently where I completed one so you can uh, check that out up the top here and so I won't go through these in too much detail because I sort of go through them in that video uh, but the first one is called Spring Serenity and it's 1000 pieces and these are all from the series Joy and Pieces. But yeah, um, this one I actually did over on Instagram uh, last year. So yeah, this is a really gorgeous one and has all these gorgeous, well, spring kind of flowers. So all these beautiful pops of colors and poppy flowers. Yeah, lots of uh, pinks and yellows and oranges and reds. Um, this isn't the whole image, like none of them have the whole image on the front, but there's a nice poster on the inside with the whole image, so uh, that's good. But yeah, just really bright and fresh and very cheerful. So yeah, it was a little bit challenging to put together, but I did really enjoy it and it was just such a pretty image and yeah, fresh and happy and uplifting. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one. And this is this next one is the one I did in the video. So this is called Envelopes. And yeah, just uh, 1000 pieces and very colorful, uh, kind of like a mature rainbow, like a bit more subdued rainbow kind of colors. Like we've got some beautiful purples, matches my nails, um, teals, some greens, oranges, like maroni colors, like eggplant. Um, but yeah, just these colorful envelopes. And uh, this one was very, easy to put together but just so fun and like relaxing to do I really really enjoyed it even if it was so quick um, but that means you know it's easy to pull it out and do it again over and over because it was just so you know just a fun little I guess puzzle snack even though it's 1000 pieces it was just so quick to do and yeah really satisfying watching all the colored like sections come together so yeah really enjoyed this one um, yeah I just really love it I sort of love it's an interesting take on like a sort of colorful or rainbow kind of puzzle with all these sort of envelopes and interesting shapes and stuff so yeah really enjoyed this one and then next we have one I mean I don't know which one's my favorite I seem to like each one for different reasons but I really like this one it's called seed pods and I, I mean I love the purple again um, but yeah they're these sort of they, I can't remember what tree they come from but uh, we you get these giant like almost woody types seed pods like maybe the size of a, of, a, of a banana or something like that but they have like these seeds in them but yeah you end up with these like empty woody type pods or shells um, and yeah and Tanya's gone and painted lovely patterns on them and even on these little seeds and things that she's like collected here so she's yeah painted them all up and it looks really pretty but yeah I just love the colors in this one and it's just such an interesting subject matter so yeah, I don't think I've seen seed pods in anything before. So yeah, I think it's a really creative like image. So 
definitely on my uh, to-do list. I want to do this one sometime soon. But yeah, I really like it. And then uh, another <laughs> glorious puzzle and very colourful. This one's 1,000 pieces and called candlesticks. And I haven't done it yet, but I'm like, I really want to do it. <laughs> so another sort of take on a rainbow and colourful puzzle. And this time it's all these like candles with their wicks and it's sort of more bright pastels, but yeah, really gorgeous. Again, this purple a color that I really love and this sort of like bright minty green and, and these coral colors, like it's really pretty. And I think this one would be probably like the envelopes very satisfying seeing each section go together. And I'm guessing it'd be, it would be relatively straightforward to put together. But yeah, I just think it looks so fun and really beautiful and eye catching. So definitely looking forward to doing this one. And then the last one from uh, that collection is called Autumn Delight and it's 1000 pieces and yeah, it just screams autumn or fall with all these beautiful sort of rich uh, reddy oranges and browns and golden yellows and it does have a few darker sort of like blacky purple things and a bit of green. But yeah, for the most part, it's very like those warm autumn colors. So very beautiful. Um, but yeah, I really like it. And, her, the one thing I like about all of these is this is all her own photography and she just captures so much detail and uh, like just there's so much going on. It's just, yeah, really beautiful sort of layouts and just images and just always gorgeous colors as well. So yeah, I think this is going to be another beautiful puzzle to put together. And then we have two here from um, a different brand or artist. So uh, these are from the artist called Squid Inky. Uh, which is such a funny name and it's actually the well then that's the name of the brand but the actual artist is Max Mendez and I actually got to meet him and he's such a really fun nice guy um, so he does he has an art gallery here in Sydney and he does all these like very whimsical humorous punny type of like images and he's thankfully made some of them into puzzles so I, when I went to visit his gallery, I picked up a couple of puzzles. So this one here is called Squidney, like Sydney, <laughs> 1000 pieces. And it's such a like a fun, silly image. So he, yeah, I guess he draws them more and it, or paints them and they're very cartoony and very whimsical and quirky. So we've got like the Sydney Opera House and a very classic Sydney ferry um, and the Harbour. Like this is like an image at Circular Quay, which is like uh, near the Opera House and um, it's a very famous area in Sydney but we've got all these like strange things going on so we've got uh, these giant squid tentacles that's not a normal thing in Sydney not that I've seen and we've got uh, I don't know what they're doing they're not oh well it seems like uh, one tentacle has managed to find a whale to grab onto and and then um, oblivious to all this craziness going on we've got a, a a sausage dog here which looks hungry and we've got seagulls um, pigeons eating hot chips that someone's dropped that's that's pretty normal <laughs> and we've got a, a famous infamous bin chicken I think they're called an ibis but we call them bin chickens because they just are always like eating trash and um, just kind of gross birds sorry if anyone's a bin chicken fan but yeah and we've got a cockatoo and a kookaburra and a pelican and even a seaplane and a sea taxi so there's a lot of funny things going on in this and it's all very silly and very humorous um, but yeah I really like it I think it's going to be a lot of fun to do and yeah I think yeah I really <laughs> I like his take on Australiana I think it's really fun so yeah I think this will be yeah really good fun to do and then the next one is pretty silly as well um, it's not exactly Australiana though this one is called uh, charcuterie and it's 1000 pieces it's more of a pun so it's a cute little, I guess it's more French actually. It's a charcuterie, which what they normally sell like cold meats, like cold cut sausages and stuff. Well, I'm, judge, I'm vegetarian, so I don't buy this stuff normally. But judging by the window, it's got like, yeah, sausages and like sort of legs of ham and that sort of thing, like those sort of preserved meats or like cold cuts and stuff. Um, but yes, so it's got all these like things in the window like that. and. Then coming out of the charcuterie is a shark at the charcuterie with a bunch of like sausages in its mouth and looks very pleased with itself. Not sure if it works there or if it's just a patron. And we've got like a rooster and um, what else? Like little veggies out the front and 
other little bits and pieces and the awning and the brickwork. Yeah, really like there's a lot of detail in his illustrations, but it's good fun and there's like a lot going on and just very silly and yeah. So I think this will be a fun one to do as well. All right, so we've made it through two stacks, only two more to go, so let's get on with it. So let's go through this next lot of puzzles here, which are looking very bright and colorful. So these first two are from the brand Four Point Puzzles and actually they just announced they're gonna be closing, which is really sad. Um, so I'm very lucky and grateful to be able to grab these two while I still could. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure why, but they're definitely gonna be missed because they're quite well known in the sort of Instagram puzzling community and they have some beautiful designs and you know, uh, their sort of fun planet series of puzzles as well. So yeah, I think they're gonna be missed by a lot of people. Um, but I do believe as well at the moment that you can get a lot of their puzzles on sale from their website. So especially if you're in North America or Canada, you know, you might be able to get some good bargains, but yeah, also a great way to just show them a bit of support as well. Um, so let's have a look at these two designs. So this one is called Annie and it's 1000 pieces and it's a square puzzle and it's very colorful and bright. It's by the artist Amanda Jane Jones. So they do a lot of artist focused or art focused puzzles. And this one is one of them. Um, and it actually said it was named after, I was reading on the, it's got a blurb. They always have like a little sort of artist blurb on the back, which I think is really nice. Um, and it says, uh, this puzzle titled, titled Annie is named after the German American textile artist, Annie Albers. Um, yeah, so that's, it's got a bit more about that. I won't go into detail, but yeah, I thought that's kind of very like artist meta, I guess. An artist looking at another artist. But yeah, the, the um, design is really cool. It's really bright. It's almost a bit like bright pastels. It's sort of got these like powder blues and like pale peat blush pink or peachy colors. But then it has like bright lime greens and forest greens and some teals and stuff and dark blue. So yeah, an interesting mix of colors there. But yeah, I really like it. I love the sort of um, simplistic shapes, but like very sort of bold and eye catching. So all these sort of squares and circles and triangles and like these bold lines, like, yeah, it just looks really interesting and uh, such a like fun kind of cheery design, but completely kind of abstract as far as I can tell. But yeah, I really like it. I think it's really cool. And I think it'd be really fun to puzzle and yeah, put together. So definitely looking forward to that one. And like I said, glad to add this to my collection before they're no longer available. So yeah, I think it'll be a nice one to do and hopefully keep my collection for a long time so I can kind of remember the brand Four Point Puzzles. So yeah, I really like this one. And then the next one by them is also very like fun and colorful. It's called Bricker -br Brack, that's hard to say, by Otto Iram. What does it say in the back? Um, it just says it's like using a combination of painting and collage techniques and it's very playful and yeah, I definitely agree. It looks very sort of happy and colorful and you can kind of tell it's like paper collage with some of the elements because you can sort of see the little shadow of the paper. Um, but yeah, it's really like fun and uh, kind of reminds me of like kids building blocks or something like that. It has a sort of element of like playfulness or whimsy to it. So yeah, really, again, sort of simplistic shapes and patterns like just circles and triangles and squares and different line work and yeah, really bold and quite cheery and colorful as well. So I think this will be a fun one to do too. And yeah, just, I don't know, it just looks really happy. So yeah, I really like this one. I thought both were very eye-catching and just f should be fun to do. And I, yeah, sorry, it's just a thousand pieces and also a square puzzle as well. And then next we've got uh, two here from Soonus. Um, I actually did a video on these and did this one here so you can check that out up the top as well. So this first one is called Girls Room and it's by the artist Row One. And um, so the image on the front and sides of the box is just part of the image but they do have the whole image on the back and the poster as well. But yeah it's really, uh, this is a really sweet one. They're featured art by her before um, and this is one of the recent PMP or pick and pre-order puzzles. I won't go into too much detail because I again do focus on them quite a bit in the recent video. But yeah, it's just um, a really cute like little scene of a girl's bedroom. And I don't know if they're sisters or friends, but yeah, one girl's like asleep and there's a little cute little purple cat trying to sort of play or wake her up. And the other girl looks like maybe she's studying or watching something on her laptop. But yeah, it's just 
Uh, I really, this is the one I did in the video and I really enjoyed it. Um, a lot of fun, somewhat challenging actually, like it was a little bit tricky, it wasn't super easy, but not too hard either. Um, but yeah, lots of really cute things that you'd sort of find in like a, you know, like, a, I mean, I would have like dreamed of having a bedroom like this when I was like, you know, young or a teenager. But yeah, lots of fun soft toys and little handbag and like books and flowers, like a cute little dressing area. Uh, like magazines, schoolwork, uh, more toys, um, just yeah, like cute little stationery items and things like that. Cute love heart bedspread and things like that. So yeah, just really cute and fun and pretty and very like colorful and cheerful as well. So yeah, I really enjoyed this one and it's just such a yeah cute image and um, yeah, really glad I was able to try this one out. So yeah, very like cute and colorful. Um, I forgot to mention these two were gifted to me by students to try out and review and that sort of thing. But yeah, really enjoyed this one. And then the next one is another really fun one, which I haven't done yet, but I really want to do it because it looks so cute. Oh, this way, um, it's called Big Restaurant and it's by the artist Itoi Yuki. Um, and it's 1000 pieces as well. I think I said the other one is also 1000 pieces. Um, so again, I've sort of got the lid on the wrong way to the back of the box, but again, like it's just part of the image, but the whole image is on the back. Um, but yeah, this is a really fun, whimsical, quirky one. It's got all these giant dishes of food and then like pancakes and spaghetti and curry and rice and very cute, like ice cream sundae or parfait. And then it looks like it's a big sort of outdoor festival or something because it's got all these little people everywhere. So some of them seem to be serving the food and I think they have roller skates on, which is really funny. And then others are like sitting around the giant gigantuan plates of food, like digging in and having a great time trying all the different meals. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty epic that there's these, I mean, I wouldn't mind going to a festival with a gigantuan pizza. Like that sounds pretty fun. Um, but yeah, there's people enjoying their food and also getting up to like mischief, mischief and silly activities. Like you've got these waitresses jumping on this like ketchup bottle, trying to squeeze the ketchup onto the um, like omelet rice. And you've got, you've even got cats and dogs, children running around. Yeah. All sorts of antics going on. Um, looks like a lot of fun though. So, you know, definitely my kind of food festival looks pretty fun and a bit bonkers and yeah, but really cute. It's just such a whimsical image and just really, yeah, really a lot of fun. So definitely looking forward to doing this one hopefully soon because I, I don't know, it just looks so like fun to put together. So yeah, and very cheerful and happy as well. So looking forward to this one. And then we've got a couple here from Ebu. So I've got, I think this one's been out for a kind of a while, but I've just always really liked it. It's 500 pieces and it's called Mushrooms and Butterflies and it's a round puzzle. And yeah, it just has all these kind of, I guess this sort of like anatomically correct, um, you know, like realistically drawn mushrooms. Um, and it's sort of, I guess, uh, well, I guess you could look at it from either this way or this way because it's got mushrooms from like both sides and yeah, all different types of mushrooms. They look very interesting, but they sort of look like what you'd find in like a, I guess, botanical book or science book, like they look realistically drawn. Um, but then there's all these like colorful little flowers and butterflies. Um, what else? Probably some other insects and things too, I'm guessing. Um, not too sure, but yeah, lots of butterflies. Well, yeah, it is mushrooms and butterflies after all. Um, and then just this lovely blue sky. So it almost looks a bit, even though things look fairly realistically drawn, it looks very idyllic and a little bit fantastical, but yeah, very pretty. Um, and a lot of the mushrooms are very weird and wonderful looking, and I guess they're all based off actual real mushrooms. Uh, but yeah, I think this will be a fun one to do. It's very quite a very like pretty image, so yeah, looking forward to this one. And then we, ha excuse me, we have another 1,000 piece. Uh, no, well, that one was 500 pieces. This is a 1000 piece puzzle from Ebu, and this is a quite an old one. And I have been after this one for quite some time and I finally just saw it randomly on a website here in Australia. And I was like, I have to get it. Um, so it's quite an old design. It's called Firecracker, Cracker I can't talk today. Firecracker Labels and it's, uh, yeah, it looks like it's a square. Um, but yeah, it's 
really bright and colorful and I just really like the design so all the it's made up of all these little kind of vintage style labels and a lot of them look like they might be I'm not exactly sure some are in English but then some look like they're written with like Chinese characters so I'm not sure what country exactly whether it's like uh, you know I guess China or if it's like a different country with that uses Chinese characters um, but yeah they're like really detailed though so and they look quite sort of vintage and have beautiful like <laughs> different illustrations on it so yeah um, like we've got one here that says supercharged for first quality flashlight spaniel and has like a little doggy on there it's very cute and there's one that says something about turtles that's my cat meowing because she's hungry again as usual so there's a little turtle there there's a kangaroo one kangaroo brand flashlight firecrackers and yeah a little kangaroo a lion one um a tiger um yeah it's like all sorts so i don't know like if it says what country some of these are from um like some of them say made in China so I guess like a lot of them are Chinese like vintage Chinese designs I also don't know if these are actually real designs or they were just like illustrated by someone for like the puzzle or some other artwork does it say the artist let's find out usually it has like their artist on here um I don't know Yeah, it just says artwork adapted from vintage firecracker labels so yeah maybe i guess they are real um yeah but they're really i just really like them i think the style is really cool and really interesting and there's so much detail in each little one so i think this would be a really fun puzzle to put together um yeah so looking forward to it and very very glad to finally get a hold of this one as well it's been sort of a unicorn puzzle um okay just a few left in this stack so we've got a very bright fun one here from piecework puzzles and it's 1000 pieces and it's called winner winner and they always have like um the tiny little image on the front of the box but then they have the whole image on the back which is good and the box is like that lovely soft touch um i don't know like a silicon soft silicon feel so and the pieces are like that as well so quite fun um it's also like this blue and red writing like the blue writing on the red box is really messes with your eye your eyes and it's really hard to read um but yeah the image is very like um fun and whimsical um like all of their artworks um or f i guess they're photos so this one's got it's called winner winner and it's got like lots of game type things we've got like bingo cards and little like poker chips and playing cards and other little tokens and things and then it's got like very kitschy vintagey bits and pieces like we've got this little like salt or pepper shaker that's a cute little porcelain cat and it looks very sort of 1950s or something something your grandma might have that sort of thing and then these like pineapples and cherries looks very like a bit of a sort of 70s meal and little party sausage rolls or something and little like custard tarts and things like that so it's a bit like yeah all the images have a real quirky kitschy kind of feel to it but I really like it I always think they're really interesting and a bit like have a bit of sense of humor and yeah just always good fun so I think this is yeah going to be a really fun interesting one to put together as well and also I can just rub all the pieces because they feel so good <laughs> and then we've got one here from an Australian brand called La La Land and this one's only 500 pieces and it's called Mexican Dream and it's sort of a bit um Frida Kahlo themed as well because it's got all these beautiful uh, I guess Mexican tiles because it's called Mexican Dream so I'm assuming it's like all these tiles are sort of Mexican inspired or Mexican designs but yeah it's all these little pretty tiles and I actually just did this one with a friend and we really enjoyed it um, very pretty and colorful and ornate but yeah we've got some tiles here of Frida Kahlo with her beautiful flowers in her hair and then we've got all like little patterns like floral patterns and um, what else like a love heart here with a cross little urn like a weird palm tree thing I guess like the Virgin Mary here so sort of a religious symbol a bird lemons like yeah all sorts of very ornate tile work but yeah very pretty I really enjoyed this one it's very like colorful and um, just yeah just a beautiful design 
So yeah, I really like this one. And then the last two from this stack are both from the, I believe it's Australian company, but they sort of sell around the world. They don't just do puzzles, but they do books and stuff. So they're from Hinkler. And they're always very, very like inexpensive. Like you can get them from um, discount bookstores here or Kmart, that sort of thing. So, um, I mean, you can kind of tell they're a bit cheap from the box. The box is just like cardboardy, like it's not a nice box like these other puzzles. It's very cheap, like, you know, but easy to recycle, I guess. Um, anyway, so these are both from Hinkler and they're 500 pieces. And this one is just called Miami and it's like a little almost Miami travel poster kind of thing. So it's got like a very like, I guess, typical Miami beach scene kind of like, like one of those pastel art deco buildings you find, like you see on, I don't know if it's called Miami beach or if it's called a different beach. I've never been, I apologize, but there's that beach that has all those like pastel art deco buildings. So I guess it's sort of inspired by that. That is my cat, like totally going, going bananas in there. Cause she's like, give me food. Stop talking about your stupid puzzles. <laughs> we'll be done soon, sweetie. Um, anyway, but it does have Miami actually written in it. So it feels very like travel postery, um, and these palm trees and yeah, I just thought it, I really like the sort of boldness and simplicity of it. I kind of like this sort of vintage inspired travel kind of posters. So made me think of that. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if it's one I'll keep in my collection forever, but I just thought it was so inexpensive and I just really liked the design. So I just thought, why not? It looks like fun. And if you know I get over it then I can pass it on to someone else or donate it or whatever but yeah I think it's a, a fun design and then the same sort of thing with this one so this one is 500 pieces as well by Hinkler and it's called Santorini and again it's just a very sort of simplistic but kind of bold colorful design of like sort of the streets of Santorini and it says Santorini there and it's like the cobblestones and sort of the white I guess like plastered buildings or rendered buildings and like the sort of old style streets and higgledy piggledy and like beautiful flowers and the blue like touches of blue on the buildings but yeah it looks really like beautiful and yeah kind of they both have like very simple bold shapes and colors and stuff but yeah i think this one will be good fun as well all right i better go feed meowy meow guts in there um and then we'll be back with the last stack of puzzles Okay, so the cats have been fed and hopefully that'll keep the meowing to a minimum for the next little bit while we go through this last stack of puzzles. So I've got three here from the brand Elena Essex. Um, and so this first one is, I mean, they're all very, very pretty, uh, is 1000 pieces and it's called Radiant Jungle. And I believe this one is actually by Elena herself. Yes, design Elena Essex. Um, and I think, is that the whole image? Yeah, I think that's the whole image except for the little logo, but they do have it on the back as well. Um, but yeah, it's gorgeous. Like uh, all of her designs are quite rainbow and colorful and very pretty, definitely very me kind of puzzles. Um, and yeah, this one is just so fun and just has so much going on. So it is kind of a rainbow gradient, like you've got these beautiful like yellowy greens and teals and blues and pinky purples and oranges and stuff. And yeah, um, like the name suggests, it is a jungle. So we've got all sorts of plants and flora and fauna going on here. So we've got a giant snake and different like birds, tropical birds and parrots. We've got some monkeys, uh, like an iguana, I guess, or a chameleon maybe, frog, little insects, um, more birds. What else? We've even got a dark, very ninja, hiding panther here. So it's sort of black and purple, kind of really blends in. Um, what else have we got? Um, a lot of plants, so beautiful like uh, palms and ferns and like little vines and things and flowers. Yeah, there's so much detail going on. Just like every little corner of this puzzle has like some little tiny thing going on. But yeah, it's really gorgeous. So beautiful and colorful. Um, yeah, really, really looking forward to this one. I think it'll just be so just, stunning to put together uh, as are all her puzzles and then um, we've got a couple here that are actually by the brand Elena Essex but are by different artists but they're both very colorful so this is called C Sicilian Cove and it's 1000 pieces and it's by the artist Emma Jane and again I think this is yeah it's got the image on the back but also I think this is the whole 
image more or less on the front but yeah very bright and colorful and very uh, like idyllic and I guess it's in Sicily and yeah so like cheerful and happy and definitely looks like the perfect holiday spot so you got this beautiful like aqua colored water and these lovely colorful little boats and some flowers and yeah the beach and all the colorful buildings and yeah just beautiful like hills and just looks like a lovely day with the sun out and blue sky yeah really beautiful such a sort of sunny happy image and yeah I think anyone on holidays here would be pretty happy um, and be really relaxed and enjoying themselves there's even I just noticed a little fish in the water as well but yeah I like the sort of again I, I've, we've sort of seen this theme a lot in a lot of puzzles in this hall um, lots of sort of simple shapes like nothing is like overly complicated or intricate here we've got like a lot of very bold shapes even the fish are very like simplified or uh what do you call it like stylized so a lot of stylized shapes and some of the flowers and things so but yeah it's really cute and yeah really happy looking and then the next one also by elena essex and i think the artist on this one is oh it, this one is by elena essex herself so there you go not a different artist um but this one's called sunset valley and yeah it's really like beautiful colors i guess sunset colors so yeah it's this lovely little valley with all these like sort of patchwork uh like fields and hills and stuff and then cute little like like village kind of houses and yeah there's all these like um little trees and plants and uh yeah it's really pretty it's sort of like a almost like a stylized painterly landscape and yeah i guess i don't know i think that's the sun going down and we've got little some little air balloons and birds and beautiful sunset like everything is these beautiful sunset colors these orangey pinky purples yeah really pretty but i do like the sort of contrasting element of down here i guess where there's less sun touching everything is like more the true greens and this beautiful teal of like the river but yeah the green fields here Some little sheep as well i just realized so yeah even though this is kind of a again like simple stylized shapes there there is still like a lot of detail like the little birds and sheep and flowers on the trees and even like someone's little greenhouse in like one of the you know one of the houses but yeah so there's a lot going on but very pretty and I think this would just be a lovely one to do as well and then the next few are from the brand uh, journey or something which is Australian so this one here is 1000 pieces and it's called strange things and their, their packaging really annoys me <laughs> So it's kind of a cool box, like it's a box that has like, this is a magnetic flap so it opens up, but the front of the box never has like the full image, it's just got like a hint of the image and then they always have a blank back, but no image. So the full image is actually like on the inside of the lid, like when you open this up, um, or like a tiny little version like on the side. So. I guess I'll be, I mean, at least this one's kind of abstract, so I don't have too much to explain. But anyway, 1000 pieces, it's by the artist, I don't know. Oh, it's just by them, like Journey or something studio. Um, but it's sort of abstract, it's sort of like, I don't know what they are, these like colorful, puffy, well, I guess it's called strange things, so they're strange things. These sort of colorful, puffy blobs, like they almost look like, colorful ink when you put ink in water and you swirl it around it kind of looks a bit like that but then it looks like puffy bits of smoke like I'm not really sure how these things are created but they look really interesting it's a bit more subdued colors like uh like the background's kind of grayish purple and we've got like this sort of purpley color here but we do have some pinks and stuff um as well I mean hopefully I've got an image image up here that does show the whole artwork not just the tiny box that I'm showing you but yeah there's some bright pinks and oranges here but everything's a little bit shadowy and subdued so yeah a little bit more dramatic and um yeah not so bright and in your face i guess but yeah it looks i don't know just thought it was interesting and had been eyeing this one off for a while so why not i guess and then we have another one from them this one is definitely a lot more colorful it's called upside down wait this is hard to say upside downtown <laughs> that's really difficult and it's by the artist Fido. Um, and again, they only really show you like some of the image. Look at all this space they have on the back where they could have put the whole image. But no, they, I mean, they did at least put a nice color here, but, but still. 
anyway, so it's basically this sort of kind of very geometric, whimsical um, illustration of like, it makes me think of like Escher images where you're like, which way is up and the stairs go down or up or sideways. It feels a bit like that because you've got, uh, it's like a city block, I guess, but you've got people walking uh, like up the building or driving up ways and then like upside down everything's yeah it's like an Escher picture um, but yeah everything's like topsy-turvy there's even people uh, on the river going uh, d down a hill and like yeah none of it makes sense so it's a bit fantastical but yeah it's pretty cool and colorful and yeah I, I quite like it it's again very sort of simplistic shapes and a bit stylized but yeah, it's very quirky, very whimsical, but also very kind of colorful and cheery. So yeah, I think it'll be good fun. So I thought this, yeah, I thought this one looked very fun to do. And then the next one is probably designed for kids, but I mean, like I'm a big kid, so it's only 500 pieces. It's called Memory Lane and it's by the artist Natalie Jeffcott. And yeah, it's just got all these like, I have to look at the tiny image here <laughs> because again, we don't have an image on the back. Ah. <laughs> Anyway, it's just a, like a photo, I guess like taken from above, but like a photo of all these little vintage sort of nostalgic toys. So we've got like little uh, figurines, like a train track, dominoes, it's sort of like vintage kind of toys. It's got like, I think like Game of Life toy, a train. Um, yeah, little like tin toys, or little plastic figures and things. So yeah, but it's quite colorful. It's got like a lot of, um, like primary colors reds greens yellows blues that sort of thing so yeah it's very childlike and nostalgic i guess but yeah it looks really it just looks fun like a nice a cute fun little 500 piece puzzle so yeah oh my puzzle stack is trying to escape and then another very colorful one which i really like this one it's called full moon 500 pieces and again it's just it actually reminds me a bit of the two um four point puzzles we looked at earlier because it's got all these like bold colors and stripes and things so we've got this white circle in the middle which I guess is the moon I forgot to say the artist is Maria Ruiz I hope I've said that right so I guess we've got the moon in the middle it's like the bright white circle and then we've got all these like circle shapes and other weird kind of geometric shapes and like colorful stripes it's very bold and again very simple like shapes and patterns and things. But yeah, it's really colorful and just looks again, very cheery and happy. Um, but yeah, I think this will be a fun one to do as well. So yeah, I kind of like some of these colorful, cheery, abstract kind of things. They, I don't know, they just look fun to do. And then we have one more from that brand, which I actually did recently over on my Instagram account. So feel free to go check that out if you're interested. So this is a round puzzle, it's 1000 pieces and what's it called a round oz bit of a pun there and the artist is maximilian malone and it's just this collage puzzle like it's all um it's very australiana so oz being like australia so yeah it's all these like kind of australian flora and fauna uh cut out images and illustrations all sort of yeah collage together so we've got like different koalas kangaroo uh like a cockatoo platypus um, what else have we got? Did I say kangaroo? Kangaroos, possums, like different lizards and snakes and things, lots of flowers and plants and yeah, like all, all sorts of interesting things going on. Um, yeah, I guess, I don't know if all are Australian, but most of them seem to be like Australian or Australian inspired. But yeah, it's very colorful and I really enjoyed doing this one. And actually the pieces held together surprisingly well for a round puzzle. Often I find round puzzles quite loose in their fit but this one I did a puzzle pickup so you can go see that on Instagram as well but yeah I really enjoyed it it was just a very fun a little bit whimsical just colorful and yeah just a happy puzzle and fun doing little Australian like finding little Australian animals and critters so yeah enjoyed this one and then the last puzzles here are from um, I believe that it's a Taiwanese company called Pintu and they're all plastic puzzles so this is my first time getting any from the brand and I actually got them from a place called Showcase Puzzles, Puzzles in New Zealand because that seems to be the most, like the main place to get them from in my part of the world. Um, so I guess we'll go through some of these. 
So I grabbed this one here, which is 600 pieces. Um, let's see if I can find out what it's actually called because the box is a little bit, a bit strange here. I think it's called Daily Life. I don't know if it's going to tell me. Uh, okay, I'm pretty sure it's called Daily Life. Um, but yeah, I really like this one because it's got a cat in it. Um, it's really like colorful and quirky. Um, it's basically one of those like, uh, what do you call them? Like crane machines where like it's that machine full of toys and you've got that metal crane and you've got to like put in your coin and then you've got to try and direct it to grab like one of the prizes. Um, so it's like one of those machines or uh, like claw or UFO machines. I think they're called that. So it's full of like all these colorful little cute stuff toys, which all seem to be cats. Um, and it kind of says at the bottom here, like cats do what they want. I'm like, well, yeah, isn't that the truth? And a cute little cat like joystick, but inside the machine having a snooze on top of all these like cute cat toys is an actual cat holding onto like one of the toys. It's looking like it's, well, it's looking rather chonky. So maybe it's gone and eaten some snacks and then somehow snuck into this machine to have a nice nap on all these soft toys. So pretty weird, um, but really, really cute and colorful. And just, it's a really lovely illustration actually. Like it's just very pretty, um, but yeah. So yeah, really cute, whimsical, very pretty. Love the colors. Um, yeah, but yeah, the thing with these puzzles is they're like a hard plastic. Um, so I've tried like another brand of plastic puzzles, but it was kind of a soft plastic and you could actually undo them. But this is like very like rigid plastic and uh, you can actually, the company does actually sell frames uh, that these like go into as well. So yeah, you can actually, I think they're not really designed to be undone. Like you could, but it would be a lot of effort to go through to do that. So I think once you put this together, it sort of is designed more as a display type of puzzle. Um, so good thing I grabbed some cute designs, I guess. So yeah, I, I mean, I don't normally display my puzzles, so it's sort of a interesting thing for me, but yeah, we'll see how we go with these. And then this next one is, uh, I, I just thought it was really like interesting and fun. So this one's called Great Memories and it is 1000 pieces. And it's all these sort of very vintage, like household items and things. So we've got like, an old radio, an old wooden chair, a gramophone, a rocking horse, uh, like some computer, like cartridge game thing, an old camera, um, like a cooking pot, a fan, old suitcases, like a scooter, glasses, like yeah, sort of old things, but it's called great memory. So I guess things that are maybe a bit nostalgic or, you know, things that people had in their family, like that sort of thing. Um, yeah, so I just really liked it and the illustration style is quite nice as well and yeah, I just thought it was interesting and yeah, so <laughs> pretty simple, but yeah, I like that one. And then we've got a very, another very cute cat one here. This one's only 300 pieces and it's called Maneki Neko by the artist Phoenix Chan and it's this very cute like cat. Um, so Maneki Nekos are like, uh, they're kind of, they're called like welcome cats. They have like an, their arms usually doing this. It's like beckoning or welcoming you to somewhere. So sometimes people have it in their home or sometimes you'll see it like uh, on shop counters to sort of like, you know, it's kind of like a good luck thing and it's to bring in customers and that sort of thing. So yeah, this cat in particular, well, this one seems to be a real cat because uh, it's got fur. So it's not just a statue, but it's got a cute little bib with the bells and the bib almost has like, I guess, little maybe Japanese inspired designs and has like a, I think it's a persimmon or some sort of fruit on its head. <laughs> I don't know why. And then down here, it's got this little doll here, which is called a Daruma, which is a Japanese doll as well. And that's sort of like a good luck thing too. So yeah, it has a lot of Japanese inspired things. Um, and then, yeah, just a sort of interesting painterly pat patterned background. But yeah, it's really cute. It looks so cheery and happy and has the, the like cutest silliest expression but i couldn't resist it's so like you know sort of speaks to me because it's a cat but also sort of japanese themed and just very silly looking so of course i had to get it and then the next one is kind of interesting because I've, I've actually opened this up and started on this um, it doesn't actually have the picture of what it is 
on the front, but it's three, a set of three puzzles that are all 300 pieces, but it does have, so I've put one of these together actually. So I'll just open this up, but I'll put, try and put the images up here as I go through them. So it does actually have like the little postcard pictures of them. Um, and they're only little, like they're not, they're about as, each puzzle is about as big as this box lid, I guess. It's not too big. And these are all the teeny tiny pieces you get. So very, they're very cute and tiny. I don't know if all of them have tiny pieces, but yeah, this, these ones do. But yeah, very rigid and like hard plastic. So it holds together really well. Like they're definitely, it's a, like a tight fit and apparently they're waterproof. So easy to clean and things like that, I guess. Um, anyway, so the one I've already done is this one here. And I don't know if it, I don't know if they each have names, but I think the set is called Kitchen Cats, something like that. But yeah, all 300 pieces, but we've got this lovely cat. Uh, well, I guess it's a bit cheeky. It's sort of sitting on the table, a little ginger cat. Um, in the kitchen with a little platter, like a little bowl of milk. And yeah, it's quite a sort of old fashioned looking kitchen. It's sort of got like one of those big old range or stove, uh, like one of those really old chunky stoves. <laughs> I don't know what you call them. And then beautiful tile work and um, yeah, like a tiled, like a ceramic or porcelain pot. And yeah, cute little knickknacks like uh, jars and kitchen things and a little clock on the shelf up there. So yeah, that was a really cute one to put together. Um, yeah, I, I enjoyed that. And the cat's really cute. It's got a little bib, love heart too. So very cute. Um, so yeah, I enjoyed that one and I definitely want to do the other two this month as well. So the next one is another ginger cat sitting, uh, well, sitting on a kitchen bench again, just sort of a kitcheny scene. Like it's on a little tiled bench and then there's like some like I guess honey, a cut up loaf of bread, a bit of cheese, cheese, which I'm sure the cat's about to get into if it hasn't already. And then, you know, a vase of flowers and then like utensils and kitchen cupboards and things. So yeah, um, yeah, a lot of like the illustration style is very, very nicely done, very pretty. Um, and there's just a lot of details in all of them. So yeah, just a really lovely one. I don't know if I'm gonna have room in my kitchen to display these, but I, yeah, I definitely want to. And I actually already, um, <clears throat> might have placed another order with uh, for some more Pintu puzzles from the Showcase. Is it Showcase? Yeah, Showcase Puzzles, which is a New Zealand company that stocks them. Um, and I actually ordered some frames for these three puzzles. So we'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully I'll be able, to show, be able to show that in like the roundup video for these. And anyway, the last one is a cute little... It's not a ginger cat. I'm not, oh, I can't remember. Is it like Siamese, Burmese? Or, I'm not great with cat breeds. But yeah, another pretty kitchen scene. So this cat's sort of walking along and it looks like someone's got, you know, maybe recipe books out and just think like kitcheny things on the bench, vase of flowers, mugs and bowl of fruit. And then we've got all the pots and pans hanging at the top and a little microwave and colorful tiles and the stove. Yeah, so they're all just really sweet and cute. Um, I think I've rambled on long enough, but yeah, I really like them. Um, it's sort of been an interesting addition to my collection. I've been wanting to try them for a while. I've seen a few other people sort of do them. Um, and I am actually tempted to do a video on these and maybe just like plastic puzzles in general, because I recently did an acrylic puzzle, which is quite different to these. And then I've got other puzzles that have like the soft uh, plastic pieces. So it could be maybe interesting to sort of have a look at a variety of different plastic-ish puzzles. So I guess let me know if that's something you'd be interest interested in. Um, anyway, so that, believe it or not, is everything for part two of the November haul. We made it, hooray. Um, so yeah, I think we had like a really interesting mix as well. Uh, so many, like a lot of colorful puzzles this time and a lot that had, uh, yeah, we seem to have like a lot of puzzles that had you know, simplistic stylized shapes, but also very bright and colorful. Yeah, I was really pleased with all the puzzles in this part of the haul. Well, there was certainly a lot of puzzles to go through for part two of the November haul. I think there were just as many as part one, possibly a few more, but it was a lot of fun to go through them all with you. There were lots of different brands, lots of different art styles, and even different types of puzzles, including plastic ones, which was pretty cool. So in the comments below, let me know which puzzles from part two of the November haul were your favorites and were there any here that you also added to your collection? 
If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when a new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye.